buyer. So we're going to be disclosing things to you that we feel like by being totally transparent, you're going to have the confidence and know that if we tell you everything we can about a vehicle, good and bad, it makes it a lot more comfortable for you to make a trip out of town, out of state to purchase a vehicle. Seems to be working very well. Got a lot of out of state buyers, very happy customers. So I've been driving around for about 20 minutes. Um, drivability seems to be really good. Uh, there's a few little things cosmetically I'm going to point out. Uh, when we get up here in a minute, we're going to stop, pull over, take a look at some of those features, benefits of this particular car and then point out any of those little flaws. But again, a 2015, this is a Ford Focus SE. It's the little four-door with a hatchback on it. In really, really good shape overall. It uh, runs and drives well, shifts nice, 57,000 miles on it. It's an automatic, power windows, doors, cruise. So I'm gonna pull over right up here. We're gonna stop and take a look at the inside and the outside of it, and then uh, take a closer look at any any features that are flaws that we feel uh, concerns or just for you to, to know about it. So let me find just a good little spot to get out of the way up here. And I'll make note also, if you are looking to do any um, financing at all with banks, credit unions, we've got really good interest rates some really good programs, even for first time buyers with a zero credit score. So uh, give us a chance to put something together for you and uh, work some things out with a credit union whenever possible. It's actually a lot easier to qualify than you might think. So uh, we'll get a little more involved on how you can do that as well. So anyway, enough said, I'm gonna pull up right up here out of the way and we're gonna take a look at the inside and the outside of this fun little car for you. So give me just half a second here. Every time we do these videos, a little bit of a different route, we don't have a a stage uh, you know something we're gonna say about a car is just whatever comes to mind I wanted to be totally ad-lib and totally transparent and that seems to work pretty well so anyway before I shut it off flip the camera around so you can see there's our miles right there 57 152 no lights on check in your lights or anything it's got a nice little stereo it is a CD player and uh, air conditioning is blowing nice and cold right now. Getting a little warm outside. It does have a really nice dark window tint on it. It may be a hair too dark for uh, Utah on the front two windows only. The rest of it is fine. Um, so let me get unbuckled here for you a little bit. But just real quick, I'll point out on the steering wheel, you do have controls for your cruise control as well as features for your stereo functions and uh, mute phone. This is a, a one that has that sync program to it. So you can sync a phone to it. Really a neat little program set up. So we're gonna shut it off. And also, as you can see, keyless entry, key fob, security system. Let's uh, take a look at this a little closer. The door open here. Again, you're seeing this vehicle not detailed yet. Okay, so if you see a little dirt, don't worry about it. That'll all be cleaned up. As long as they're not things that are torn, tears, whatever. It's all pretty clean here. Uh, on the driver's seat, looks like it's in really good shape. Not seeing any uh, scuffs, tears, um, cigarette burns or anything. Up on top, dash looks nice and clean. There's no uh, scratches, no cracks no uh you know areas that are deformed or warped from the heat and the passenger side seat we're gonna look a little closer from the other side but looks like you got a little bit of a, a white mark spot on there that should come off pretty good we'll see how that goes take a look in the back hopefully it's not too dark the door is in good shape here Seats appear to be in good shape. No holes, no tears. Does not smell like a smoker vehicle at all. The headliner is uh, in good shape. Looks like it could be cleaned a little bit, but no holes or anything there. The backs of the seats are in good shape. The carpets are nice. Does have the uh, Ford, the factory floor mats in it. And go to the 
back hatch area. That's pretty nice. Seats do fold down on one side or both. You can see a lot of room there and in good shape. It does have a jack. It's always going to come with a jack and a spare and all the tools that are required for these vehicles. We want to make sure that we provide all those on every vehicle. Okay, and we're going to come back around to the outside a little closer in a minute. We're just going to do the interior first. And hopefully you can see without the shadows here a little bit. So this door panel is nice and clean. Seat's good over here. Looks good. And the front driver passenger side looks good there. In good shape. Looks really good overall. It's just uh, issues with cleanup, detail type thing. Nothing seems to be damaged, whatnot. Um, all the carpets seem to be in good shape. That'll clean up really, really well. So now let's take a quick look at the outside. Again, we're not afraid to show you things that we see because they can either be fixed or at least addressed. There's nothing to hide here, okay? So starting from here, um, looks like it's in good shape. A little bit of a scratch there on the hoods. Some of that will probably buff out. Some could be touched up. And there you got some uh, paint chipped off. Okay. Close the driver's door for a second. As you can see down the sides of it here. I think this is a big deal. It's important. People know. Okay. Um, a little bit of a slight, slight dent there. That to me looks like something that could be corrected fairly easy. I'm not seeing literally any door dings at all going down this side. I can't promise anything, but so far I'm not seeing anything. I know it's white. That's hard to tell, but looks pretty good there and uh going around the back bumper oh that's that comes off that's just a dark spot of something uh does have the backup you can see the sensors there in the bumper and then, again it is the se and it is the flex fuel it does have the rear wiper that's kind of nice and that rear spoiler and then coming around this side this uh, looks like it's in really good shape as well. I'm not seeing any uh, dents or dings anywhere along this door panel. Um, I'll also point out tires appear to be in really good shape, matching all the way around. Um, let's see. That is all just comes off. Looks like a little bit of road tar type of stuff. So that's good there. Overall, in excellent, excellent shape. I would give it, you know, about a nine on the interior and a nine on the exterior. Really a good vehicle for a first time buyer. It's almost brand new and uh, low miles. This is a great car for a credit union financing program. So definitely, if you are looking for a car like this, you know, feel free to come and drive them. We want you to know that we're here to help you out. We're not here to sell you on a car. We've got a lot of offer you know a lot of different vehicles that you could probably choose from we want to make sure that we can find you something that works for you okay um, again if you do need help with financing give me a call you can reach me direct at 435-773-2022 you can call any of us here at the car barn you've got uh, sean ryan and myself and you can reach us at 435-215-7362 if you want a quick loan approval, just go to barnloan.com. Just fill out the little form, submit it, and usually 45 minutes, an hour, we can have you finance with the banks, credit unions, and follow up with you and make it a really fun, simple, easy, uh, low pressure experience for you. So we wish you uh, all the best and uh, we appreciate you watching our videos. Hope you have an awesome day.